Hello and welcome to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. Well, coming up in this edition, former Ghana goalkeeper Richard Kinson could lose his job as Black Stars goalkeeper's trainer. Well, we have updates coming up very shortly. Also coming up in this edition, Black Stars assistant coach Didi Dramani has explained why local players were not included in the Black Star squad for the games against Angola. We also have updates on Jeffrey Schlopp, who has been excluded from Ghana squad to face Angola. More of this coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. But first, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get straight into the details now. And former Black Stars goalkeeper Richard Kinson could lose his job as the goalkeeper's trainer of Ghana's senior national team, the Black Stars, according to reports. Well, Chris Hutton, who is the new head coach of the Black Stars, is said to have made a few changes to the technical team, which could see a new goalkeeper's trainer as well as a video analyst come in to replace the already existing ones. According to an undisclosed source who spoke to Graphic Sports, a meeting between Chris Hutton and the Ghana Football Association's top hierarchy was held last week to finalize the proposed changes in the senior national team, the Black Stars. And this could see Richard Kinson, who is the goalkeeper's trainer, and Awa Kamin, who is the video analyst, lose their jobs. Well, the source told Graphic Sports in an interview that maybe having been with the team for almost a year as technical advisor, I suspect Chris Hutton may have analyzed the technical team and therefore knows its inadequacies which may have informed his recommendations to strengthen the technical department as he takes over. That is what the undisclosed source told Graphic Sports in an interview. Well, the source went on to state that Aminu Shadow, who is currently the general manager of Keto Krekus Dreams FC, is likely to replace Henry Mante as the new team manager of the Black Stars. Well, the Ghana Football Association Communications Director, that is Henry Asante Chung, has also confirmed that Chris Hutton is likely to make a few changes to the technical team of the Black Stars, which proves that indeed maybe Richard Olele Kinson could lose his job as the goalkeeper's trainer of the Black Stars. Meanwhile, Chris Hutton's unveiling as the new coach of the Black Stars will be held on March 20, and that is where we will know the actual truth if indeed Olele Kinston would end up losing his job as the goalkeeper's trainer of the Black Stars. But let's go on and do some more. You know, when the Black Stars squad was named recently, it did not include some players in the Ghana Premier League. Yes. No local player in Ghana was named in the current Blaster squad to face Angola in the doubleheader in the AFCON qualifiers. Well, we've gotten an explanation as to why there is no local player in the Black Star squad to face Angola in the AFCON qualifiers. Well, according to Black Star's assistant coach Masudi Dramani, they decided to exclude local players from the squad because they want to improve on the squad they took to the World Cup and as such they need players who are in consistent form so that they will improve and augment the squad. In an interview with City Sports, this was what Didi Dramani told the press. He said, when you look at the team, it is made of consistent squad and we want to be, remain consistent. That is why the decision not to invite the local players. He went on to say that the Blasters is a team in progress, so the team will continuously be consistent in their approach. The team is a work in progress, so what you find is actually what is indeed at the shortest possible time. In the longest possible time in this era, you need to look out for things that will give you immediate team structure. You don't have time. For other things and that is what Didi Dramani said in an explanation as to why some local players were not named in Ghana squad to face Angola so yes I think the uh, explanation is very very good that the team is a team that they want players who are in top form and playing at the highest level to be playing now before we go a former vice president of the Ghana Football Association, George Ifiye, has expressed worry over the exclusion of Jeffrey Schlob from Ghana squad to face Angola in the doubleheader later this month. Coach Chris Hutton left out 
The Crystal Palace player in his 25-man squad for Ghana's upcoming games against Angola. Reacting to the absence of Jeffrey Schlopp in Ghana's squad after missing out on the World Cup squad, George Freire noted that Chris Hutton might have had his reasons why he left out Jeffrey Schlopp from his squad. In an interview with 3 Sports, this was what George Freire said. He said, I think my expectation have been met. I was hoping to see some players who were omitted from the squad we took to the World Cup. The only player missing to my surprise is Jeffrey Schlob. But hey, you can't call every player. There may be other reasons which I may not be aware of. For me, the coach has done well. Once the list has been released, my position is always that let's support the team, let's support the coach and let's support the management. There were one or two players who were missing and as I said, you can't get everybody to be part of the team. And that is what George Ifriye, the former vice president of the GFE, had to say in connection with why Jeffrey Schlob has been excluded from Ghana's squad to face Angola. Well, that will be it for this episode of Sports Update Ghana. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. See you in the next one.